welcome to my channel it's Danelle so I got my last order from Moyu London US site uh, so my previous videos that was supposed to be my last but then I went back and as you can see I ordered more I also didn't realize all their stamping polish was also on sale so you can see I bought a handful of those not too many and I also got a few other items I got a couple of stampers because you can never really have too many stampers so it's a round monocle stamper just your basic stamper and you can take off the bottom to stamp so you can see I really like stampers that have a longer end on it rather than just the this I just don't I need more grip I have better control if I have a handle <clears throat> and I do like their stampers they're not they're not too flexible they're nice thick and stiff <laughs> so this one I got and let's see and it comes with another scraper and then this one is like on dual so this is a rectangular stamper usually referred to as ice cube stampers so and then so again it has like the longer handle you can pop off the bottom so you can see all the way through or you can pop off the handle if you want to just use it like this So I thought that was ripped, but it's not. It's just some debris on it. Or you can use it shortened like this. Again, I seem to have better control when I have these little handles. Oops, no way. So I hope they work well. I've never used any of them. And then I also got their cuticle guard, which is what you place on your skin this one is latex free you place on your skin so that when you stamp like a full coverage image whatever's on your skin you can just peel off and for the polishes let's see let's get some swatches and so these three I had kind of set aside these were from the Jurassic Park collection they came in the cutest little boxes they came in nice cute little jurassic park boxes so there's three of them there's little and little and wild t-rex sorry i'm on the wrong side t-rex it's hard very hard to read and be my raptor
All right, so I got a lot of the series this time. So first we have the Popeye series. I have plates two, one, two, and three. All right, so Popeye was a pretty big part of my childhood. My brother loved Popeye, so um, I remember growing up watching it. Uh, but I really got this, these because you can see all the characters. They're really cute, but there's so many other things you can do with it. Again, I'm not a huge nautical fan, but if I were going to do something nautical, I mean, there's so many options. It doesn't have to be theme related. It could, you know, it doesn't have to be Popeye. You have the, the, um, woo, the Witcherman thing. Words fail me. It's not a steering wheel. I forget what it's called. And you have an anchor and like this really cool wave. And then all of these little scenes right here. So that would be really cool. Um, and then this one, again, you know, you have like the rope, some boats, some more waves, some paddles, lots of things. So it doesn't always have to be the Popeye character related, but really cute. That's a cute one. And plate three. These are really nice. So many uses. You could do the message in a bottle for so many things. Oh, I really like the turtle too. Those are really cute, like little chandelier images. All right. And then I'm gonna grab this one because it's just the one. This is the only one they had left for the Back to the Future series. So my husband loves Back to the Future. So I thought maybe I would do a really cute Manny to show him. I wish there'd have been more for it because these are like the really small ones, but that's cute. And then, let's see. All right, and my one Scooby-Doo plate. So I really like this one because I like how you layer the character images. And then I like the little silhouettes so you can like do them across like a set of nails. And then this could even be used for any like Halloween or whatever. So I like that one. All right, and then Looney Tunes. Once again, part of my childhood. So I didn't get all of them, but I got what they had left. Two, three, four, five, eight, ten. So. And I think some of them all have like repetitive images like this is when they're turned sideways. Excuse me. When they're turn, turned sideways like this, they're usually smaller. Bird. I don't remember what her name was. Porky Pig. Taffy. And then these are all Bugs Bunny. And again, like most of the plates, there's like isolated images that you can use for other things besides the characters. These are almost like baby versions of the characters. got more of the size matters. I got six, seven, and eight. So these are really small for small nails. Like my pinky, my pinky wouldn't even barely fit. And this is the size matters. This is the, um, like Christmas and holiday scenes. And, 
uh, the holiday scenes, but in the smaller version. Then we got some of these, the festive collection for 59 and 60. These are like the sweater style patterns. These, oh, I, I don't have hardly any Easter plates, so I got two of these and they're all Easter, like the images that make the shape of an egg and then some like like I call them stamps they look like a stamp you know um like a framed image and then you just have these like little full coverage ones and this one has a lot of the same but they're bigger bigger versions of it All right, and then here's two of the Scholar collections. This is 04. A lot of fun individual images. And 05. I'm trying to pick the collections that don't have I have two collections right here that have a lot of them, so I'm going to wait to get to those in a second. This is two from the Tropical Collection. These are the smaller ones. All the tropical leaves, some animal print in there, and then some geometric stuff thrown in there as well. And then this is Tropical 28 same thing I mean it's not the same plate but it's like geometric but also with the tropical leaves and some birds and this is explore collection plate 10 and I really like this one for the giraffe and then also the animal scene Back here, the silhouettes. These are really cool, Africa. This is Mother Nature Collection 08. And they have all of these like images together, like mashed together. So you can just pick up a bunch of different things and you never get the exact same thing twice. This is the animal collection. This is zero one. There's a couple octopus, some dogs, fish, birds, turtle. The little collages. I like these little fish. And this is, I didn't really like much in the hipster collection, but I did like these. I don't know why this is part of the hipster collection and not the origami, but I thought some of the animals were cute. And then the fairy tale collection 13. So the fairy tale collection, they were all these like really big images, which which are okay because like you can stamp and get a bunch of different things, but it's not like you can get that whole shoe on something. But I love to sew and quilt so I really liked this one because it has like the ruler the thimble thread scissors the spool of thread the needle some patchwork here the zipper button safety pins so and this is like a zigzag stitch straight stitches I just I thought this was really cool And then the two big collections in this order are the Literature and the Enchanted series. So from the Literature collection, we have plate 03. And all of the Literature collection has these quotes from 
books, obviously. The literature collection. So, a lot of good things. I haven't read them all, but I will eventually. This is 04. I'm trying to read them as I'm showing them to you, but I can't with the camera angle. I can't read it. Gatsby. Frankenstein. All right, so moving on to the Enchanted Collection. These are so sweet. So these are the smaller ones, but they all have like an animal or something in the image surrounded by a little scene. And they're called Enchanted because again, they're just super sweet looking images. And then they have the small and then the larger versions. Just larger scale. These are um, a series that I had been wanting for a really long time and I just never, just never did it. And the camel is so cute. I just never got around to getting them, and so I decided this time to pick up what they had left. Some of the ones I really wanted weren't available anymore, but I still got some of the good ones, some of the ones I really wanted. And the last one, and this one I don't think has any animals, I think it's all floral. but still really nice. So there we have it, 38 plates. And this haul, 12 polishes, two different scrapers and stampers, and cuticle guard. That's it for today. Hopefully I can find some time to sit down and brainstorm some ideas and experiment and get some actual nail stuff done for you. Feel free to like this video, share it, comment below, tell me what you think, what you want to see, tips, tricks things like that and subscribe to my channel for future notifications of nail hauls, unboxings, and manicures. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.